If you have watched some of my videos, you've probably heard a lot of me mentioning the name Michelangelo. If you didn't know already, Michelangelo was an Italian sculptor, painter, and architect. So without a doubt, he was one of the most inspirational and talented artists during his time, and he was often compared to Leonardo da Vinci, as their rivalry was pretty well known during their time. Although his art was remarkable, so was his life journey. Just like other artists during his time, he too had faced numerous challenges and obstacles. Michelangelo Buonarroti, often simply referred as Michelangelo, was born on March 6, 1475 in Caprese, Italy. His family came from a small-scale banking family in Florence, but unfortunately, the bank failed and his father, Ludovico, only worked occasional government jobs in Caprese. Several months after Michelangelo's birth, the family moved to Florence, the center of art and learning at that time, and it was there that Michelangelo's artistic talent began. At the age of six, Michelangelo's father sent him to a grammar school, However, Michelangelo showed no interest in his schooling and preferred spending most of his time drawing at the nearby churches. Seeing that Michelangelo had a great interest in art, his father then decided to send him to one of the leading painters in Florence, Domenico Ghirlandaio, to become his apprentice. His apprenticeship only lasted for a year because Ghirlandaio's patron, Lorenzo de' Medici, asked him to send two of his best pupils to his court, and one of those pupils was Michelangelo. When Lorenzo discovered that the young artist had great potential, he invited him to live and study in his court. This privilege granted Michelangelo access to many educational and cultural resources that would influence his artistic development. Besides deepening his painting techniques such as fresco and tempera, Michelangelo also got the chance to learn sculpting as well as marble carving and modeling from one of the most influential sculptors, Bertoldo di Giovanni. Michelangelo also received his first commission works from Lorenzo by producing two relief sculptures, Battle of the Centaurs and Madonna of the Stairs, which was remarkable knowing he was barely 17 at that time. In the year 1492, his patron Lorenzo de' Medici had passed, and after his death, Michelangelo decided to leave Medici court and return to his father's house. In the same year in 1492, Michelangelo realized the importance of anatomy study for artistic purpose. Unlike many artists who learned about the human body from life models, Michelangelo decided to learn anatomy by performing body dissection, which was pretty unusual at that time. With the permission of a hospital at the monastery of Santo Spirito, Michelangelo finally had access to perform his first body dissection, focusing on the muscles and bones which later on would be crucial for the creation of his future works. In 1494, Michelangelo received a commission work from Lorenzo de' Medici's son, Piero, to make him a statue. But not long after that, the Medici were exiled from Florence due to the political uphill and the rise of Savonarola, who claimed that the families like the Medici were corrupt. And once again, Michelangelo left Medici's service, then moved to Bologna, where he was commissioned to create three small sculptures for the shrine of Saint Dominic. In the year 1495, the political situation in Florence was calmer, and Michelangelo decided to return to Florence. But unfortunately, he didn't get any commission works because the city was still heavily influenced by Savonarola. Despite the situation, Michelangelo continued to create works in Florence, and one of them was a sculptor of a sleeping cupid, which later on, he and a member of the Medici family, Lorenzo, managed to sell the cupid sculpture at a high price to Cardinal Riario, claiming it was an antique. Although the cardinal found out it was a fraud, he was still impressed by the quality and invited Michelangelo to Rome. Once arrived, Michelangelo began to work on a commission for the cardinal, which was a life-size marble sculpture of Bacchus, the Roman wine god. Unfortunately, the work was rejected by the cardinal, probably because of the inappropriate and unconventional manner of the subject. 
Later on, the work was eventually bought by Jacopo Galli, a wealthy Roman banker and art collector. Later in the year 1497, Michelangelo received a commission from the French ambassador of the Holy See, Jean Bleuret de la Grulla, to create Pieta for St. Peter's Basilica. The realism and beauty of this masterpiece evoked many emotions of the fierce, and it was regarded as one of the world's greatest masterpieces of sculpture and solidified his reputation as a genius. The next part of Michelangelo's life will be continued in my next video. Thank you for watching and see you in part 2.